Book and I took in around South Africa, Sunshine Spirit Courts. Um, let me just get this in focus, quite lovely. Um, let's have a look at the core of this. Typically, we have a central quartz crystal. Let me just go here. Uh, there you see the head, surrounded by the smaller, or blanketed by the smaller quartz crystals. Uh, the core for the sunshine spirit quartz is ah, there you can see it on a cross section what I was telling you of the blanket of the quartz is going around the older generation quartz. We have a coating of hematite come girthite in stages of oxidation uh, ranging in color in this case from almost a yellow to orange and of course the black. Now, now previously mistakenly I've said the, the black would be the older hematite. The, the black in, 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 uh, would be most likely the younger hematite because hematite is often silver metallic with oxidation will go into black and then will turn into the reds and whatever. So the older generation would be the natural, the absolutely natural coating going across these quartzes. So these are not auras. Um, you get the aqua auras, etc., etc., which are man-made. These are absolutely natural. So Mother Nature did this patterning and this lovely coating on these quartz. A lot of fun, these little spirit quartzes. And this particular color wasn't all that abundant. You usually had the bright yellow ones. These are, are more, uh, almost a mustardy color. All the way from Bukana to Hooks in South Africa, another masterpiece. Um, I'm just going to move it a little bit closer. You can have a better look. Quality, pretty good. That's overexposed. Um, the, the still pictures do them no justice. The videos too struggle. These are best enjoyed when held in hand. Look at that. Quite lovely. 